In this episode of Lifespan News, Elevian secures $15 million in equity financing, avoiding osteoporosis with alpha ketoglutarate. There's a new scaffold for liver regeneration. A gene has been discovered to alleviate obesity. Healthy longevity for all wins the vote for the global health reset. Welcome to Lifespan News, your source for longevity science updates. I'm your host, Brent Nally. If you missed our last episode, then you can watch it by clicking the card above. We encourage you to check the description below for links to these stories. Lifespan News is part of Life X10 Show, or X10 for short, and both are moving to X10's own YouTube channel soon. We encourage you to subscribe to X10's own YouTube channel by clicking the card above. You can also find a link in the description below. Once you're subscribed, be sure to click the notification bell and select all notifications to ensure you don't miss any videos. While you're there, be sure to watch X10's new channel trailer. For our first story, Elevian secures $15 million in equity financing. This is exciting because Elevian is one of the many companies focused on developing therapies to treat and prevent age-related human diseases. Currently, Elevian is working on drugs to target the growth differentiation factor 11 pathway, or GDF11. According to previous research, administration of this molecule to aged mice reduces age-related cardiac hypertrophy, that is, the abnormal enlargement of heart volume, improves exercise capacity and skeletal muscular repair, and more. Elevian's hope is that targeting the GDF11 pathway can lead to tissue rejuvenation, so far, so good, in that their lead drug candidate has had positive effects in preclinical models of several age-related conditions. Thanks to a $15 million equity financing deal that Elevian recently closed, Elevian will be able to move GDF-11 to human trials. Initially, the drug will be tested on stroke patients, but Elevian hopes to conduct further trials to test the drug against other age-related conditions. If you'd like to learn more about this story, then as always, check out the link in the description below. For our next story, a well-known supplement may be able to fight age-related bone loss. Osteoporosis increases the risk of bone fractures in older people, harming them as individuals and increasing the load on hospitals as the average age of the population rises. Earlier experiments have shown that alpha-ketoglutarate, or AKG, promotes bone development in rats and lambs and delays the decline of rapid, coordinated movement in worms. Now, a team of researchers in China and the United States tested how AKG affects bone mass, bone loss, and healing in mice and rats. The researchers found that AKG treatment increased bone mass and density. The researchers also showed that the treated mice had more of the cells that make and break down bone material. Since AKG can increase bone mass, the researchers also tested whether AKG could prevent bone loss. The researchers treated adult mice with AKG and found that the mice lost less bone mass over the next few months than a control group did. Finally, experiments with a drilling hole injury showed that AKG improves bone healing in older rats. This is obviously just a first step, but it's still quite encouraging. Even if AKG doesn't end up being useful as a therapeutic, AKG will probably prove a valuable tool for investigating osteoporosis. If you'd like to learn more, then we recommend you read Lifespan's article seen here and watch our good friend Eleanor Shiki's video on this subject on the Shiki Science Show seen here. Both links are in the description below. Moving on, there's a new scaffold for liver regeneration. Because of the early onset of many liver diseases relative to most age-related diseases, liver transplantations have the ability to dramatically extend the lives of patients. However, there are many donated organs available, and growing a liver in the lab is challenging. Researchers in India have discovered a way to improve our ability to culture liver cells. The researchers tested the effect of adding fibrin to the gel in which the cells are cultured. The researchers found that liver cells grew better and maintained their function when grown in a gel to which fibrin had been added. Fibrin is a fibrous, non-globular protein involved in the clotting of blood. Fibrin is formed by the action of the protease thrombin on fibrinogen, which causes it to polymerize. The polymerized fibrin, together with platelets, forms a hemostatic plug, or clot, over a wound site. 
The researchers believed that adding fibrin was beneficial because the addition of fibrin introduces interconnecting pores into the gel which facilitates the migration and attachment of cells. These results demonstrate the researchers' alginate gelatin fibrin hydrogel formulation to be a promising biomaterial for liver regeneration. However, it's well known that 3D hydrogel systems outperform 2D cell cultures. Future studies will be needed to compare it to other hydrogel formulations before it can be considered a strong candidate in the area and move on to in vivo studies. For our next story, a gene has been discovered to alleviate obesity. As you can see here, new research published on Nature discovered a pathway to alleviate the harmful consequences of obesity, though not obesity itself. The researchers worked on NFR2, a transcription factor known to be involved in the response to bodily stressors such as obesity. The researchers increased the expression of NFR2 in mice by knocking out a gene that blocks NFR2. The researchers also had a control group where this gene wasn't knocked out. Both groups were further split into two subgroups. One was fed a high-fat diet while the other ate normally. Mice with higher NFR2 levels also had improved insulin sensitivity and got less fat than the controls. Still, the gene that blocked NFR2 is known to have effects on hundreds more, one of which is NQ01. It so happened that the modified mice also had high levels of NQ01, and the researchers had reason to suspect that the benefits they observed depended mostly on this. To test this out, the researchers created two other mice groups controls and mice with high NQ01 levels, and again, these groups were split into two subgroups with different diets. It turned out that the mice with high levels of NQ01 who were overfed gained weight just as much as the controls on the same diet, but they retained better physical abilities than the overfed controls. So, NQ01 overexpression seemed to grant better insulin sensitivity, but also to reduce the chronic inflammation typically caused by obesity. There's even more interesting details to this story which you can find in the link in the description below. For our final story, Healthy Longevity for All wins the vote for the Global Health Reset. A recent Forbes article seen here by Tina Woods underlines an important beneficial side effect of the otherwise disastrous COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 has proven to greatly disproportionately affect the elderly and it appears that one of the mechanisms through which this happens involves the chronic age-related inflammation known as inflammaging. This fact appears to be serving as a wake-up call on the importance to target basic aging mechanisms in order to reduce the vulnerability of the age during epidemics or pandemics. It also shows that deep down, the public may actually care more than previously thought about the health of the elderly, especially considering the massive measures and restrictions that have been put in place in order to keep the elderly safe from the harmful effects of COVID-19. For these and other reasons, many experts of the longevity community are speaking up, as you can read in the article linked below. We hope that the COVID-19 pandemic will have, at the very least, helped at accelerating aging research, funding, and awareness. That's all the news for this video. Before you go, there's a few free, quick, and simple things that you can do to help us solve the human aging problem. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like this video, share this video on your social media, let us know what you think in the comments below, and also if you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed and you have the notification bell turned to all notifications. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video, at least as healthy as you are now.